this is going to be part two of uh, my melting plastic and forming it into other shapes and something I uh, failed to tell you was I'm using HDPE plastic has a little triangle with a num number two in it I'll show you an example of that later on in this video uh, but what I've done was I was talking about how my mold melted and didn't come out right I was going to make a new mold and decided I could use the old mold and just flip it upside down because it's still round on the other side so that's what I did and it worked out fine so I only needed to make one more piece anyways so I also made some new molds uh, another new mold of um, some shaped pieces I needed out of plywood that turned out to be a lot better and um, I'll show you examples of that also so uh, here we go this is the mold I was using before ended up melting so all I did was turn it upside down because it's still round on the bottom and used it to uh, make my last piece and I just unclamped this thing so this is what it's going to look like excuse me and it come out just like I needed it I cut another piece uh, made a new mold and uh, so when I melted my plastic I pushed it down in here you can see that and I made a an insert to fit inside there and I clamp it in my vise well excuse me clamp that in my vise and uh, make me some preformed pieces here. So it works pretty good. I just uncl uh, unclamped my next piece of the plastic after molding and everything. And this is an example of it. How it come out. And what I like about it is, since it had a, a notch right here and everything and it dries, it when it dries it it shrinks but it it's shrinking this direction instead of uh, inward because I had it clamped down in the vise so sometimes you have to bump these out with a hammer this is the piece I was I made from that pretty cool huh <laughs> and so um, so now I have three wheels and three of these and I gotta make three more of these have uh, most of my stuff to do for the next project also I wanted to tell you uh, about the HDPE plastic what you're looking for is this triangle this triangle here with the number two in it and right below it says HDPE that's the kind of plastic you use. I've been using water jugs. I buy water in gallon jugs like this from Walmart or whatever and I cut them up and melt them. 
I'll show you. Uh, I was chopping them up into little pieces and putting them in a can, but I found that to be rather tough to deal with. So I, I came up with a new way to do it. So the way I was doing it was um, cutting out a giant strip out the side of the jug and then I would uh, take the strip and roll it onto a pair of scissors using the scissors like a key to twist it around tight as I could get it. Then I would cut another little strip from a piece of plastic about that long and tie it around it. That way you melt that in the oven and it gets heat on the inside and the outside at the same time and it'll melt at the same rate. That way um, You can um, be able to grab it with some regular leather gloves so it ain't too hot with your hands and push it into the mold like that. And two pieces this size will fill this mold. And then you put this mold in a clamp and clamp it down for a little while and you mold your plastic and that's pretty easy. Especially when, you know, when you, I just stick this in a pan in the oven and then when it, when it gets all clear looking, it look, you can, um, it gets transparent looking. Then, with your gloves on, you can take it and roll it right off of the pan. And it's easy to grab a hold of. You can stretch it out some and then you fit it into your mold and put it in the clamp and man if that don't make life a lot better i like that method a whole lot better than i was with the tuna fish can well i hope you enjoyed my video i'd like for you to look at the bottom and like my video subscribe to my channel and uh with the parts i've made in this video I will be using in an, another video of another project and I hope you stay tuned to see what I got coming next. Uh -huh.